Hi friends, my name is Sarah and this is the 20 minute heart chakra flow for Yoga Inner City's virtual studio brought to you by Kineticare. We are going to start off in a comfortable cross-legged position and sweep the right arm overhead to the left side of the body. The left palm is going to be placed on the ground. If you want to go a little bit deeper with this, you can start to bend that left elbow to take you a little bit deeper into the stretch. On your next inhale, coming back to center and exhale as you bring the left arm overhead this time for a stretch on the other side. As you inhale, we're going to return to center and then we're going to take the right arm and place it on the left knee for a little twist. With every inhale, just imagining that your spine is lengthening and your head is reaching closer and closer towards the ceiling. As you inhale, return to center and exhale, the left hand is going to be placed on the right knee for a twist on the other side. From here, we're going to make our way onto all fours into a tabletop position for some cat and cow stretches. As you inhale, you're going to take your gaze up towards the ceiling as your spine arches. And as you exhale, we're going to reverse that motion and round the spine like an angry cat. And then just continuing for a few rounds here, moving with your breath, inhaling as you look towards the ceiling and exhaling as you round the spine down and gaze at the belly. Let's do one more round of these here, and then when we're finished, we're going to start to walk our hands out and press our hips backwards for puppy pose. You can either place your chin on the floor, your forehead on the floor, or if your head doesn't reach the floor, that is also completely okay too. Taking one last big inhale and exhale here, we are going to push back down into downward facing dog. On my first downward facing dog of the day, I love to bend my legs a lot and pedal out my dog by alternating bending knees. Do whatever feels best for you here. Just remember to keep your hands nice and active and to keep pushing through them and pushing your hips backwards. On your next inhale, step or hop your way up to the front of your mat so that your feet are between your hands and you are in a forward fold. If you want, you can bend your knees here a lot. We're going to stay here for a couple of breaths. Maybe you want to grab alternating elbows and rock from side to side and let the tension release from your neck and your upper back. Ground down through your feet and slowly start to roll yourself back up into standing at the top of your mat. On your next inhale, hands sweep up overhead to touch. Exhale as you fold forward. Inhale, take a halfway lift, hands to the knees. Exhale as you step back and lower down into a chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, push back into your downward facing dog. Hands are nice and active, pressing the hips back and just breathing into the backs of your legs. On your next inhale, step or hop your feet up between your hands. Exhale there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, root and rise all the way up. Hands touch overhead. Exhale, release them down. We're going to repeat that again. Inhale, hands reach up to touch. Exhale as you fold forward. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into Chaturanga. Inhale, press into the hands. Gaze goes up towards the ceiling for upward facing dog. Exhale as you press the hips back for downward facing dog. On your next inhale, the right leg is going to reach back and up. And as you exhale, swing it through to step between your hands. Inhale, hands reach up to touch overhead, warrior one. Exhale, sweep them back. We're gonna interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale as you elongate the spine and exhale as you fold forward right over that right knee. On your next inhale, allow your hands to pull you all the way back up. We're gonna pause here for one breath, and then we're gonna sweep them forward overhead. Imagine you're holding a big beach ball over your head here. Inhale as you return back to center, and then we're gonna bring our palms to our chest in prayer position and twist to the right. That left elbow is gonna be pushing into that right knee if you can. Great work, from here we're gonna release the hands back down into a push-up position and then we're gonna lower down for our chaturanga. Inhale as you take the gaze up for upward facing dog and then exhale as you press back into downward facing dog. We are going to repeat this on the left side. Left leg comes up and back and then swings through to place it between your hands. Hands come up to touch overhead for warrior one. And then as you exhale, interlace the fingers behind the spine. Inhale to elongate and then exhale to fold over that left knee. Hands come up overhead for a nice stretch. On our next big inhale, we are going to use our hands to pull us back up. We're gonna pause here with hands outstretched behind us. And then we're gonna sweep them overhead again like we are holding a beach ball here. Great work. We're gonna inhale and come back to center, and then we're gonna twist over to the other side. So this time your right arm is gonna be twisting to the left and being placed on the left knee. Both your hands and your legs should be active here. Release both of your hands so they are on either side of your left foot, and then step back into Chaturanga as you exhale and lower down. Inhale for upward facing dog or cobra, Gaze is up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, stay on the knees, and push the hips back for child's pose. On your next inhale, you're gonna make your way into a tabletop position and we're really going to engage the core here and press into the hands. From here, the right arm is going to swing forward while the left leg swings back and then we're going to exhale to release. Switch sides, inhale, left arm comes up, right leg goes back, exhale to return. Inhale, right arm goes forward, left leg goes back, Exhale to return, great work. Inhale, left arm goes up, and this time we're gonna reach back and catch that right foot behind us. If you can, if not, that is completely okay. And we're actually gonna start to press into the back of that right foot if we were able to bind. Hold for a breath here, and then we are going to release it down and switch sides. Right arm comes up, left leg goes back, and we are going to reach and grab that left foot if we can, pressing into that foot for a nice little back stretch here. Feel the expansion through the upper body and the heart chakra, and then exhale to release. Great work. 
pressing into the hands we're going to step one foot back then the other so we are in a plank position and then we're going to lower all the way down onto our stomachs hands are going to reach out back behind you palms facing towards the mat as you lift the shoulders off of the floor breathing here for a couple of breaths so core is nice and engaged and feet are pressing into the ground Great work, lower the top body back onto the floor. And now we are going to do the same thing with the lower half of our body. Engage the glutes, engage the hamstrings, and lift the feet up towards the ceiling, palms pressing into the floor, breathing into it, and then exhaling to lower down and release the legs. Now we're going to combine both the arms and the legs. On your inhale, engage the glutes, engage the arms, pull the arms back, feet lift up towards the ceiling. Gaze is just at the top of your mat or above. We're keeping everything nice and active here. One more breath and then exhaling to lower back down onto the mat. Great work. We are either going to repeat what we just did or you can challenge yourself with Dhanurasana. So we will bend the knees and grab the ankles. And from here, we're going to start to press the ankles back towards the back of the room. As you do this, your upper body will start to peel off of the floor. So you should really feel this in the collarbones and in the heart chakra, and everything should be nice and engaged. One more breath here, and then exhale to release back down onto your belly. Give yourself a second to just catch your breath. And then we are going to come onto our knees for camel pose. Knees are gonna be set up under the hips. And then we're going to place our hands on our bums or our lower backs. So a couple of options here. For the first one, we're just going to start to lean back a little bit, pressing the hips forwards and taking your gaze up towards the ceiling. Now we can just stay here or we can take it one step further by taking the palms of the hands to rest on the heels or the feet or gripping on to the ankles. Great work, inhale, and then we're going to exhale, engage the glutes, pull the hips back forwards towards the front of the room, then release and make your way back into child's pose. Taking one breath in child's pose, and then we're going to come to a seated position to counteract that back bend with a nice forward fold. So inhaling, arms reach up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, just slowly starting to walk your hands towards your ankles, maybe the outsides of your feet, or even to grab onto your big toes. With every breath, just feeling yourself starting to sink a little bit deeper into your forward folds. On your next inhale, slowly start to roll your way out of your seated position. And we are going to actually just lower back down onto the floor so we are on our backs. From here, we're gonna make our way into a twist by taking the right knee and drawing it up into the chest and then across the left side of the body. Right hand can come down and be flat on the floor, palm facing down, and the gaze is just gonna follow and look over that right shoulder. So our leg is twisting in one direction, and we are looking off into the other direction. Slowly start to untwist, bring the right leg back down onto the ground, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. 
Left leg comes into the chest, right hand comes to grab that left knee and pull it across the body for a twist. Then we're gonna gaze over the left shoulder. Left hand is gonna be down flat on the floor. Great work. That concludes our little flow. We're gonna make our way out of our twist and come into our final resting pose, Shavasana, with our feet nice and wide and our palms facing up towards the ceiling. And just closing your eyes to rest for a few moments here before we carry on with the rest of our days. Slowly starting to bring your awareness back into your body with each breath. Maybe starting to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then rolling yourself onto your favorite side. Take a breath and pause for a moment. And then using your hands to push yourself up into a seated position on your mat. We're going to take one last inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, palms touch. And then exhale to bring them to your heart center. Thank you for taking the time to practice with me today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day.